here is the one problem which is based on the concept of kinetic energy and relation of the momentum so the problem is the momentum of the body is doubled by what percentage does its kinetic energy increases there are no values were given in the problem still we can get the values in the form of integers so what is the way to solve this problem as we know that ke is equal to p square by 2m so from this we can write ke1 is equal to p1 square by 2m as well as ke2 is equal to p2 square by 2m so ke1 by ke2 is equal to p1 square by 2m by p2 square by 2m so this p2 square by 2m will get go up so it will cancel with 2m so we will get ke1 by ke2 is equal to p1 square by p2 square but the momentum of the body is doubled therefore let us say the original momentum p1 is equal to p p1 is equal to p initially p2 is equal to doubled means 2p so therefore ke1 by ke2 is equal to p1 square means p square by p2 square means 4p square so therefore it is p square p square get cancel therefore ke1 is equal to 4 into ke2 that therefore the definition or difference difference in ke is equal to 4k2 minus k2 is equal to 3k2 percentage change is 3k2 by k1 into 100 percentage of increase in k is equal to k2 minus k1 by ke1 into 100 therefore ke2 minus ke1 so what we can write it is 3 ke1 by ke1 into 100 so it will be 300 percentage so if momentum is doubled the kinetic energy increases by 300% the next concept is conservative force and non conservative forces to do some work the applied force is minimum so force is the minimum quantity or minimum physical quantity or main essential quantity to be applied on the body to do some work these forces are divided into two types one is conservative another one is non conservative so what is the conservative force suppose if work done by a force is independent of the path and the total work done in the closed path is zero that force is called conservative force let us suppose this is the point and a force is applied on this body where placed is that point then the work done in moving the body in this path and again the body has reached to its original state here the path is not in the definite shape it is the indefinite shape of the path still work done by this body along this path 
and along this closed loop is independent of the path independent of the path means independent on the shape of the path but the total work done in the complete path is zero so if the work done by the force in a closed loop is zero and independent of the path then the force is conservative non conservative means exactly opposite to the conservative force in nature what are the examples of the conservative force if the body freely falling are thrown upward under the gravity or away from the gravity it has work done in the path as prescribed but in each case work done is uh, plus mgh and minus mgh where minus mgh is the body when it is moving away from the earth plus mgh when the body is doing work in case of freely falling body so it is independent of the path still anyway the total work done for the complete projectile up and complete downfall is zero total work done is equal to mgh minus mgh it is zero so anyway we are getting the total result as zero but it is independent of the path but this work was done by the conservative force next we will see the examples of non conservative force the non conservative force means it is dependent on path means work done by a force whether it is variable or constant it is dependent on the path at the same time total work done is not equal to zero the work done by a force is not equal to zero and dependent on path then the force is non conservative so what is the meaning of dependent on path and not total work is not equal to zero let us suppose take a frictional force frictional force is always opposite to the direction of the applied force always that means the net force acting on the body is the resultant of applied force minus frictional force so what we can understand is if applied force and frictional force are same in magnitude then the body will be in rest if applied force is greater than the frictional force the body may overcome the frictional force and it can travel along the path or along the smooth plane or rough plane so in this case we can say that this force the net force is not equal to zero if the net force is not equal to 0 then the work done is also not equal to 0 because w is equal to f into s so like this we can understand the concept of non conservative forces so we can write this one is f minus small f is not equal to 0 consequently work is not equal to 0 and it is dependent on the path whether it is from right to left or left to right like this we can understand this concept if you like this video Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.